Ahoy mates, I'm Zolanius. Welcome to my dam. This is, once again, Lost Technology. As the title says, uh, Furry World Conquest, Child Soldier Edition, in which we are going to play the main campaign with Lion. Right here, starting with our two Wait, just two. Quite homosexual of you, if I might add. I mean, the fuck? Hum. Wait, is that all of the accounting? Oh my, I'm going to fucking... Uh... How do you call it? Rush them. Which means getting through these fuckers, but... Uh... Yeah, I think I can master more troops if I need to. Maybe one turn for not doing anything. Or maybe uh, I could take the place for any of these. Anyway, uh, Lion Camp, yes. So, uh, Lion Campaign, basically, we are uh, furry people who get uh, hunted down because of reasons. And this close, to be perfectly honest, they just get hunted down for their fur, but uh, they are more human than animals, so that is kind of weird. Anyway, we are going to start with uh, kind of the basic stuff, though we are going to have uh, only two territories. No problem, we can uh, expand wherever the fuck we wish. And uh, these are going to be our... Uh, starting heroes. Shays, who is a uh, basically just a better uh, base unit, the wild dog, which summons uh, wolves. He's a good trainer and has stomp, so it's uh, not a bad idea and also helps a lot out uh, in the form of uh, attack and de defense. We have uh, Rain there, our uh, local earth mage. Who can I actually click on them? So, okay, I cannot click on them. Fuck you in that case. So, she's an earth mage, uh, doesn't have much uh, in the way of leader skills besides obviously increasing the magical capabilities of the earth mages. Also, has a factor of summons apparently. After that, we have uh, another uh, kind of wild dog guy who seems to be mainly a fast moving object thing magic. Like they have the dash skills, so I guess they are they getting close to the enemy and start dealing uh, proper damage. They are good against cold and uh, poison, but uh, they're to okay. They have poison and toxin in the game. I just realized why ah, that's stupid. Anywho. Afterwards, we have uh, Misa, the death mage, apparently. The fuck? Can uh, gift flight to the guys. Very important when we are going to attack the demon stronghold. She also has a factor of summons, which seem to be uh, wind summons. Also, she has a broom of all things. Last but not least, we have... Okay, actually, least. This fucker is just a uh, another death mage. Actually, a demon can ho hover and I guess the light mage fucker has death mage and uh, death magic and light magic at the same time that's quite homosexual of you actually uh, oh and they have fucking uh, range and holy uh, what's it called the opposite of resistance vulnerability Everything else seems to be... Uh... Oh, sorry, no. 
they have cut, thrust, blunt, and range. Vulnerability, just the range is uh, significantly higher. Everything else seems to be uh, counter to at least a little bit, especially poison and paralysis. Anyway, so these are going to be our main heroes. Let's confirm. And we are going to watch their uh, first cutscene. Yes. Scandinavia Island. Therian tropes are the demi humans whose shapes are between human and beast, mainly human though. They live on uh, Mount Scandinavia in Scandinavia Island. A ship wrecked near Scandinavia Island 20 years ago, which led to the migration of humans and the construction of four city Pankia. Therian tropes and humans avoided interfering with each other, so there was no conflict, but around five years ago, the humans of Poncho. Uh, Pachaya encroached on the mountain to build their uh, city of uh, New Scandi Scandinavia. Since then, Therian troops have fought humans to defend the land uh, they lived on. <laughs> More like to uh, bully the encroaching humans who decided to place a fucking place of living there. Uh, point of commerce, I mean. Guys, just fucking welcome them for a change. Like, okay, they put a city on your island. Great, great. Go in there and take um, control over it. Don't fucking fight them like idiots. Anywho, let's uh, continue. Most Therian troop men were killed in battle and skinned for their furs, of which they don't have much. They are mainly, uh, you know. Well, actually, there are a few Therian troop males that are not completely furred. Uh, sorry, that are completely furred, like Aris, uh, Elephant. And uh, what's his name? Wolf uh, comes to mind immediately. Maybe it's a... Uh, how do you call it? A aged thing? If they are older, they get more furry and they... No! That's stupid! They still have their uh, human... Uh, bone structure when they are young, so they need to go through quite an uh, intensive metamorphosis to turn into actual uh, furries. So no, I think that is just bullshit. <laughs> or maybe there is a subclass of something, I don't know. Bullshit, that's what I call it. If, if they are uh, going to turn into proper furries when they get older, which is bullshit, then we, they should start out as proper furries, but little, littler ones. Ay, 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 ay. Anyway, this brutality demoralized the remaining men who lost their will to fight and abandoned their home and family to run away to the continent. Where the men live who sold their fur for both them. The remaining women, children, and elderly Terrian troops had lost their main force, yet they still put all their strength into defending their home. From whom? However, they couldn't uh, hold any longer. Scandinavia Mountain. Damn, says uh, Shays, she's. Shoys. Soys. The boy running from. Uh, running with all his might towards the mountain top is the leader of the Therian troops. He sought to drive off the humans who came to clear the forest and at the foot of the mountain, so he went to fight them with his fellow Therian troops. But the humans had set traps uh, there already, and the Therian troops were counteracted and were routed. Before their losses became too great, he ordered a retreat. However, they were pursued, and then Sweet Chaos scattered his forces. Yeah, about that. If you retreat, and you cannot uh, hold the enemy at bay, you are going to have more losses. Kind of. Well, if you stay there and fight until you, till your death, then of course you're going to have more losses. But the problem is, 
if you just retreat without any vanga vanguard? Rear guard to stop the enemy from advancing on you. Then, sorry, you are not going to get away with uh, more men if you just, you know, maybe try to fight them off and have them rout. Stuff like that. So, basically, if you're routing, leave somebody there to die for you. That's the thing. Village at uh, Mount Scandinavia. Are you okay? I'm glad you're safe, says uh, reindeer. Reindeer? Reindeer. Let's uh, stick with reindeer. Damn, I messed up. I forgot to have a fucking uh, rear guard to take our losses. Whoops. The girl treating uh, Shay's injuries is uh, his childhood friend. They're still childs. Who uses earth magic to heal, apparently. She literally puts mud on your wounds to seal it up, and that, that's definitely going to get some uh, infections in there, but who cares? You're fucking dogs anyway. In the most literal sense ever. She, jo she joined the previous battle as part of the rear guard. So you had a fucking rear guard? Could you tell me how the fuck you not uh, leave them there, or maybe rear guard doesn't, you know. Not actual rear guard, but uh, people who put you put on the rear in the formation because they have range stuff. <laughs> yeah, that makes more sense. That's not the rear guard. The rear guard is what is uh, a guarding your rear, usually other melee guys. Because the problem with uh, j having just ranged guys in the rear is that cavalry is a thing. They can maneuver behind you and fuck them over. And uh, usually ranged units are not really good at uh, reacting to well. Getting attacked. And the earth mages are quite squishy, if you ask me. Now, granted, in this game, it's not really a deal, though it could be a deal, depending on the stupidity or uh, geniusity. Geniusity. Intelligence of the AI. If they can actually get uh, somebody behind you, that's a problem. They usually don't, though. They just go to the straight path towards the enemy. So you need to make proper rear guards. In the military sense, however, the rear guards uh, are uh, kind of uh, sublime uh, designation because the rear guards are the people who are at the rear and uh, guard you from getting fucked. So if you are uh, changing uh, direction, like you are running away from the enemy, suddenly the guys who were fighting the enemy in the front are becoming the rear guard. <laughs> And those are the guys you should have left uh, behind, so you don't uh, get pursued. Anyway, Russell Russell. Sorry, Audible Russell. The trusting sounds of Harry and Rope appear from the bushes. Claw, you're okay too. Yeah, I barely managed to escape, you fucker. Why didn't you leave fucking uh, guys to die? Also, what is up with your... Oh my god, I just realized he's holding that knife very fucking wrong. Unless it has a very stupid guard, yeah. The thing that he's holding on to, it's, it's not following a proper path, like... Yeah. The handle should uh, start appearing between his fucking uh, middle and uh, ring finger. It, it's supposed to be poking out, considering perspective. <laughs> yeah, I'm bitching on the fucking art of the game because uh, I started to steal it. <laughs> For nefarious purposes, of course, and I just noticed this bullshit. There was this another thing, the red... Uh, the red uh, lizard man. The shirtless one. His uh, hands are also a bit wonk. Anyway, this uh, knife should be a little bit more up there, and maybe having a bit poking uh, through the uh, top of the fingers right there. Because now he is technically holding on to nothing. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I barely managed to escape you, fucker. I'm sorry, my strategy was shit. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm 12 years old. It couldn't be helped, you're 12 years old, and so am I. Actually, I'm just 8. But now... There are so few left who can fight. 
we should uh, probably start um, conscripting babies. Yes. That is our limit though. If we even send the babies out, then we are literally using every population available for us. Also, how do we use the babies? Are we putting them in catapults and shooting them with knives? I mean, we are feral creatures, so it would kind of work. But the problem is if they make contact with the ground, then that minus one soldier, I guess. With the absence of adults, few were able to fight properly and their efforts were more uh, like uh, inconvenient mischief than resistance. Yeah, I wouldn't say that inconvenient mischief, like if they uh, actually got around like a hundred or so people to attack them, that's, that's not mi mischief. If they are shooting bows and uh, they are shooting bows and arrows, no. If they are using bows and arrows to shoot at people, then that's quite lethal. If they are using uh, slings, that's also quite fucking lethal. Ask the um, creation. No, ba Balearic slingers, sorry. The creation, no, creation uh, archers were a thing. Uh, the slingers were from the Balears. Um, Islands near Spain. Basically, they were a uh, very renowned uh, place for their slingers in antiquity and early medieval times. However, uh, as um, shields and uh, armor technology, or should I say, shield and armor uh, availability increased, uh, slings were kind of getting out of action because uh, a wooden shield can protect you from slingshots usually. And also, uh, mail is kind of good at uh, def defending from it if uh, first it comes at an angle, second if you have proper things under it. And in the medieval times, uh, male uh, armor was prevalent, so of it fact. At least in the early medieval era. Early and mid. Uh, plate armor just made it... Uh, uh, plate armor kind of made everything else kind of irrelevant. But uh, that's another thing, so... What was I getting at? Anyway, so... If they are shooting at, uh, you know, uh, villagers and shit, then they are going to inflict damage. And since uh, fire mages have, like, Robes, I guess they are not uh, resistance resistant against their attacks, so yeah. Though to be perfectly honest, they, they are kind of stupid because they are using fucking uh, knives and shit instead of bows and arrows or throwing stuff. Okay, they actually have rocks, but still, it's, it's kind of stupid what they are doing. <laughs> anyway, hey, how about uh, passing our situation onto the lizard man who live in the marsh? What? Is that man who live in the marsh? You mean go to the mainland? Yeah, from what I heard, the lizard man hate people who cause env environmental destruction and eat them as a warning to others. Yeah, uh, I I don't like to go in places where people eat other people. Do you understand my reasoning? I, I kind of don't want to be eaten by lizard man because I shit in the wrong bush. Anyway, that's probably with, uh, to make notice children behave. Nah, 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 nah. Lizard man do eat people. <laughs> I don't think so. Cloud took out a book from his pouch. Okay, apparently an 8 year old had it. Letters on the book cover uh, spell. Cover spell. History of the Empire, but uh, Shays uh, can't read them. Can you read the letters you may use? I can't even read the ones we use, because we don't use letters. We are fucking uh, pre civilization people, even though we have high industrial output. I guess. Semi high. They have swords, basically, and knives. No, my mom read this book for me. Where did you find it? That Imperial. Oh, sorry. I stuck into the city office of the port city. Oh, port city. Paha! <laughs> and stole it. What's written in it? This book is about the history of the Empire, which dominates the center plane of the continent. Dominates. Very strong words. According to this book, about 40 years ago, the Empire set fire to the Earth's forest, which is still at 
where it is, so that fire was probably not that effective. In order to, uh, in order to ima imagine the horror of fire as they listened. Then the lizardmen of the Mars set fire to the capital of the Empire and slaughtered the entire royal family, leaving only a direct, only a single direct descendant, not a direct descendant. Bitch. That is usually how uh, inheriting works from a direct descendant. If you want to uh, signify that it's only one, then put a single in there. Seriously, is that true? Well, I'm not sure yet, but I'd rather go to the marsh uh, than wait to be killed and uh, skin for fur. Don't worry, your fur is basically just a tail, two ears, and a weird nose. And maybe legs. I can't put the thing away so I cannot check. The marsh is so far away from here. Kla, are you going into the marsh by yourself? That's right, because uh, this is my idea. Wait a minute, it's too dangerous for you to go there alone. Take this pouch of shit. If this is the only way, then I'm going with you. Uh, I guess me too. Um, there is not even anywhere else to go besides the cactus people who are definitely going to skin us for fur. Or at least some tears. Actually, Therianthrope Tales. That could be a uh, good. Uh, well. A good. As in, the thing you trade for. Oh, hi, viewer. Welcome to the den. But yeah, uh, back in the day, beavers were, and uh, every little animal, like even squirrels and uh, other stuff that I forgot the English name of, were hunted down for uh, their fur, in which uh, mean I their tails. And these tails were used to line uh, the. to have a line on the caps and shit. Or to have them uh, dangling from the caps, because it was a status symbol. So maybe, maybe when they are selling to. telling about uh, selling their fur. They mean their uh, tails, because they are kind of big, they are kind of diverse, and I guess it could be a status symbol to have killed a therianthrope, these feral creatures. Even though they kind of look like human with extra bits, but details. The people in the mainland are not going to know. Anyway, but who will defend here? Uh, nobody, we are fucking nobody, you idiot. We could uh, all go there as refugees. Like a large-scale migration. If we want to go to the marsh, then we have to go through... But I don't think the humans will let us through so easily. Won't it be scary if everyone goes? Most of us may, most of us may be killed, but if we, at least one of us can reach the marsh with our message, then we are going to be left with a single uh, solitary member of our species, so we are going to die the fuck out. It's not a good plan. That night the Tarian troops gathered and uh, deliberated, uh, deliberated okay, about asking uh, the lizardmen of the marsh for help. Because no one opposed it, half uh, decided to head to the marsh, while the rest remained in the mountains. Next morning. Well, let's go. Okay. Claw, take care. I guess she's her mother. They kind of look the same. Thanks, mom. Told ya. I'm sure I'll be back uh, with the lizard man on our side. Or die trying. Aunt Collie. Okay, she's Aunt, so I guess they are related. I leave everything to you while we are gone, because you're literally the only adult eh, around here. Hope you are going to make at least semi-competent uh, decisions about well, living. Don't worry, I'll protect the mountain, by which I mean I'm going to run uh, away with everybody else from the slightest of dangers until you come home. After which we can all run away. Like, actual fucking guerrillas. Call is Klaus mom. <laughs> Don't you fucking say. An unearth magic user and uh, Klaus dad, who was killed in the previous battle, was former leader of the Therian troops. She's a gentle with a she is gentle with a caring personality, so at first glance she seems to have no fighting ability, which is bullshit because she's a fucking earth mage. She can make uh, the fucking uh, ground under you not be ground anymore. 
She isn't faced by anything uh, tough and is very capable. I wish she could go there without anyone getting hurt, but it's a very stupid uh, thought, to be perfectly honest. We are definitely going to get slaughtered. And yeah, I hope I'm going to survive so I can at least have some diplomatic ability to talk to the lizardmen because you guys are kinda stupid. And maybe so am I. But at least I have a snatch. Chase gathers his forces and head with the fort. Ha! Neither the people living in Fort Ha! Nor the Hellarian troops were aware uh, there was an unexpected visitor. Food side of Mount Scandinavia. Uh, this is Mount Scandinavia? It's not bad, but humans are building a new city here. What a shame this place is too good for humans. Because we are Tsunts. We fucking hate humans and we are not going to let them live anywhere they wish, we are not going to accept them, we are not going to uh, form bonds with them, work together with them, oh no, fuck cooperation. Racial supremacy is what we are after. Okay. Hey, <laughs> uh, the diplomacy in this game. Like, I don't know what is the problem uh, with humans in the eyes of the elves. Okay, the rain and the empire fell down the forest. Why are then they not uh, angry against the rain or the fire? I don't know if you have noticed, but there is the cactus people, there is Alcatraz, there is Musket, there is the Knights of Kunis, there is the Dragon Riders, whoever the fuck they are. And I think there is another faction, but I might be wrong, who are also humans. So, yeah. There are a lot of people who are humans that are not actually against you. So, why the hate? Anyway, the Avgurv uh, defied tradition in uh, Austria forest 50 years ago and no uh, wonders the world. Uh, miso soup. What are you planning? And the uh, timid demon boy. Demon boy? No, why? Had been uh, summoned by Misa. How? And uh, had a disadvantageous contract to serve her in a good faith until her death for a single copper coin. How did you do that? Was he a baby when uh, she summoned her, him, her, it? Like, seriously? How did you manage to do that? Anyway, I have decided that this mountain will be mine. I will make love to it, and you are going to watch and maybe even uh, participate. Participate, and it will be Misaland. You mean Misos? Yeah, I will build the biggest castle uh, in all of the world. Misos, you are stupid. It's not going to happen. You are supposed to be my servant, how dare you say that? I'm sorry, but you are returned. Actually, this is a good opportunity for us. Uh, from what I heard, uh, the humans and Teriatrons fought each other recently, and the Teriatrons were killed and uh, processed for fur. Possibly their tail fur. I don't want to take advantage of their weakness. I want to take advantage of your weakness and get the fuck out of this contract for a single copper coin. Also, when are you going to get a fucking single copper coin? You bitch! I want food! And bitches. Other bitches than you, of course. Oh, how dare you to say that again? I'm going to spank you with this big ass rod. Sorry, broom. You're a demon, aren't you? It's not like you make uh, my wishes come true anyway. Russell, Russell. <coughs> Therian troops appear uh, one after another from the bushes. Therian troops? Oh, there are so many. So many furs, actually. They are not as furry as I thought. They only have fur on their fucking tails. Hmm. I guess they were processed for fur in uh, bug because of this. <laughs> Yokto was frightened by so many therianthropes, and the therianthropes were taken uh, aback by a strange race they had never seen before. You are not a human or a human cosplaying as something else. Those strange ears. You're an elf, aren't you? <laughs> yes, I'm an elf with high magical power, as you can see by uh, me levitating on this broom. I also can make you levitate on my broom, if you choose so. Please levitate on my blue. What made you come to this uh, island? World conquest. She is wanting to uh, sell your furs and eat the humans as well. She is kind of uh, ambitious and the other bad words. 
Krezid, ja, već. Also sightseeing. Jok to escort quickly because I'm so sub who does say something to Amber. If that's your only reason, then I think you should leave this island quickly. I decided my own life choices, you bitch. You are not my mother, father, and everybody else that shunned me. What are you trying to do with so many people? I wonder. And they are only kids. Hey, you are a kid too. Don't have to tell you what sir. I can't speak. Sorry, I'm a kid. I don't have to tell you outsiders, but uh, you aren't uh, <laughs> citizens. Whatever, we are going to the marsh. It's our last hope. Why did I tell you that? Fuck. Wait, Shays. Why did you tell them? You idiots. You told me your secrets. Ha ha ha. The marsh. Last hope. This mountain will soon be destroyed by the humans and their city. Yeah, the city is going to grow fucking legs and uh, walk over to your mountain and eat it. <sighs> it's kind of the same stupid... Uh, uh, words. Uh, phrases. Uh, fuck. Used in propaganda and political messages. Fuck. I mean, the... Politicians say the Hungarian politicians say the same about the European Union. Like, let's stop Brussels and shit. Like, you know, the city, because the city Brussels is going to grow fucking legs and come over Hungary and steal jobs and shit on the statues or something. It's kind of stupid. Anyway, we will lose our hope. Before that happens, they want to tell the resentment so they will punish the humans. After we will die. Yeah, this survival plan of ours is not really uh, that competent to be perfect us, but this is our last hope. Dots. You are stupid. <laughs> the, uh, did you hear that, Yokto? Yokto. Yogurt. I'm going to call you Yogurt from now on. He's called Yogurt? Question mark, exclamation mark. That's so funny. Kla, stop. You have a better name than them. You are better than them. Why are you laughing? It's uh, simple. If you bees go visit the muscle heads uh, living in the marsh, then they would see you as uh, lambs coming to the slaughter. The grown-ups were processed into fur and the kids will be processed into meat. I think everybody is going to be processed into meat, but the uh, grown-ups will have their furs uh, stripped away as well. And considering that they lizard man, they might as well skin the fucking people. I mean, it's good leather material, you know, semi-good leather material. It's a big animal, humans. That is. You bastard! With uh, tears in his eyes, Klaus tried to hit uh, Mizo Soup, but uh, Shays gripped him tightly. Tried to hit with her with what? His fists? His legs? His uh, head? His uh, fucked up knife? You say that, but this is the only option we have left. Well, we could also try to make a defense, but okay, that's kind of stupid to be perfectly honest. We could try guerrilla warfare. I mean, um, let to be perfectly honest, medieval armies were kind of prone to uh, guerrilla warfare. They couldn't really deal with that. They were more concerned about uh, taking uh, lands and uh, cities and stuff like that, which if you don't have because you're living like a nomadic lifestyles, like the Scythians did, or the Mongols did, or whatever the fuck lived on the steps, steps did, then congratulations! A medieval, uh, stereotypical medieval army is not going to be able to do shit to you, because you can't just fucking move your population somewhere, somewhere away. They are not going to have uh, crops and shit and... Uh, Supplies uh, uh, gathered, not gathered. Supplies put in storage because you moved the fucking storage. So they are going to have supply problems, uh, logistical problems. They are not going to be able to show achievements to their people who are, you know, fighting in their fucking armies that we managed to drive them off or we managed to take the city. Because there is no city and driving them off just means they are going to attack you at a later date. Which is why most uh, traditional uh, European armies fucked up when they went to 
the Easter stats. Because there were no cities to plunder, no cities to take over, no places to claim your own. And if you started to put your own cities there, then congratulations, the fucker are going to go come back and raise it. The nomads, I mean. So the best course of action for Shea is to be uh, starting uh, to go nomad. Which they are kind of more capable of doing because, you know, half beasts. I guess they are at least feral and know the land. Anyway, so they should do that. And uh, wage guerrilla warfare against uh, the humans who are going to have logistical problems going further into their territory. And then they are not going to go further into their ter territory. Also, I don't know the surrounding lands uh, of Pa city, but if they successfully raise them, you know, maybe in the night or something, then congratulations, whatever the fuck the guys were trying to eat are not going to. So they are going to need to rely on uh, import food, which is kind of crap, because if you make fucking ships and do the same thing, raiding their uh, coastline, doing piracy, then congratulations, you are going to starve out the fucking city. Which means people are going to uh, emigrate outwards. Possibly back to the mainland, because fuck this shit, I'm not dealing with uh, feral fucking uh, furry creatures uh, eating our shit, raising our crops and uh, destroying our ships. Life is shit here, it's uh, not good for me, I'm leaving. That is going to be the main uh, thinking of the people. So, yeah. What we are going doing right now is kind of stupid. <laughs> anyway, we have no way to win uh, if we fight back. Yeah, the way you are fighting back is actually uh, as such, but again, don't fight back normally. Anyway, no way to win. Oh, there is. Is she going to tell them the very thing I just uh, told them? Uh, Miss also brushed her, brushed her hair back proudly. Question mark. Really? Thump! Miss uh, poked the... Uh, sorry, Miss also poked the yog yogurt's head. This isn't the time for your backtalk, bitch. Hmm. Sorry. Because there is a musical note in there. In short, you left uh, this genius mage join your side. You should let this genius mage join your side. Yes, I can read. Dot. No. If you become our ally, then we can turn the tables. Exactly. Miss also. What are you doing? I don't think there is a chance of winning. I don't want to be involved in any conflicts if possible. I kinda hate running for my life or getting raped by random people because my cute boy face. You are lying. Someone you someone like you can't do that. Well, if you want to know my ability, there, girl. <laughs> Miso Su point a finger and uh, straight at a random reindeer in the forest. Me? No, the other reindeer. Yes, you, you bitch. You seem to have the most magical knowledge in, the, in your group. I'm not very knowledgeable, but it's certainly true. I'm the one who summoned uh, Yogurt here and made him my servant for a single copper coin. Because he was a baby, and I was a bitch. <laughs> you summoned this boy. Exclamation mark. He has horns. Yeah, this is definitely the... Uh, Mondokon cosplayer. Oh shit, no way, he's a demon. Question mark. Exactly. Now, do you understand my ability? Dots. Yeah, you're kinda bitch. Hey, reindeer. What does that mean? Uh, Shay says it's uh, true they are not ordinary people. They are exceptionally bad people. Like, okay, at least one of them. The bitch. Dots. Do you really think you can fight off the humans? Of course! I possibly have some bullshit uh, special ability. Wait, no, I... No, they don't. I actually checked that. Exclamation mark in grey. I might... My, my, my... I may just listen to your plan. Here, in this uh, bush. If we talk here and also take care of our physiological problems, namely that I need to shit, we may be found by humans. I take you to our village on the mountain top. Game trail. Okay. To Mount Scandinavia. Hey! He's all soup! 
What are you going to do? Mm. I'm lucky. I'm sorry. I'm lucky. If all goes well, I will get soldiers who will work uh, in uh, miso soup land. How are you going to beat the humans? I haven't talked about that yet. First of all, it's important to make them my lawyer soldiers. I thought so. You are sloppy. Especially down there. We are here. Village, village, village at Mount Scandinavia. Here. Uh, let's hear your plan. Very well. Uh, are you going to serve the and sweets to the cute uh, and praiseworthy elf who would uh, be your consultant? We don't have such luxuries. Don't be silly. You don't deceive us like that also. I am more magical than you because I can hold this uh, fucking knife even though there is nothing that I can hold on to. Stop it, Claw. You are defying physics. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is kind of getting weird. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming out this way. Holy brought tea and nuts. <laughs> Holly brought these nuts on the tray. I don't know if you like them, but you are going to eat them. You are going to use your mouth on my nuts. But these are for you. Mom, don't give them your nuts. They are mine. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Plump. Wow. They are so delicious. Hey, wait. Are you literally going to eat those women's nuts? Are you nuts yourself? You are eating ahead of me, plain fool. Could we return to your plan? Uh, no, I'm eating nuts now. Oh, sorry, yeah, okay. First, I want you to understand uh, our army strength and the enemy strength and the plans as far you know. As far as you know. Yes. Mizos. Uh, Mizo Soup spoke with authority as if she was a great commander. Her style of talking over her worm, the Terrian troops were mostly in the age between 6 and 12. Arming out of dots. First of all, our army is non existent. I see. It's hopeless. Now I understand your desire to commit mass suicide in the marsh like lemons. Stop it, Mizo Soup. Even if you're right and they actually agree with you, it's kinda rude to talk. Uh, it uh, like so broadly. Instead, you should uh, use uh, weird uh, uh, in-between words, like you know, regarding a certain plague. Grrr. I'm a horny. Wait, no, you are horny and I'm wolfy. Yes. Huh? You bastard! You are going to be my bastard in the bed. Well, okay. We actually don't have beds, but we have spots that we sleep on. Well, slightly fluffy because we shed our fur. Yeah. Claw couldn't control his uh, lust and uh, jumped on Mizosoup. <laughs> Mizosoup grabbed the uh, yogurt sitting next to her as a shield to defend uh, against Claw's uh, grabbing hand. Chomp. Oh! My hand! Oops, I use my uh, mouth instead of my hands. How truly embarrassing and uh, most uh, disgracing of me. Please spank me, daddy. I am sorry. Take this. Spank. Mizo Soup caught uh, Claw off guard and uh, spanked him in the ass down straight with a right to his left ass cheek. Okay, this is getting weird and uh, horrible. What? What have you done, Mizo Soup? You are uh, uh, relenting to your base urges, and so to his, and so to his. I can speak English sometimes. It usually uh, revolves around keeping my sentences short and not stupid like this. Stop necking! It was a justifiable self-defense of horny retribution. Yes. You took me as a shield. Justifiable. Yes, you are meat, and thus, and thus I can use you as meat shield. You should have defended me before I took you as a shield then, don't you think, little bitch? 
Actually, you should have uh, started uh, the uh, move against the guy yourself. You should have been the one uh, chomping on his arm, maybe. Or worse, slightly licking their nipples and shit. <laughs> no, thank you. Alarming all that. Could you guys stop fucking in the strategy meeting? This fight was started by Klaus, so I over so I overlook it. Return to the main topic quickly. Favorite is a match <laughs> Oh my <laughs> Anderson are strange, so I explain how to win after one hour break. After a one hour break in which we are going to uh, relent to our desires of taking a fucking shit because we just ate uh, too many nuts. Until then. <coughs> Let's go, yogurt. Uh, right. Yo yogurt uh, ran to the unconscious claw and held his hands over claws, uh, uh, left ass cheek, to treat the burrs br bruise with uh, light magic. Sorry that my master is so horny. Hornier than me, even though I post sexual fucking corners. Yogurt said one word of apology and ran after miso soup. Do you think we can trust her? Uh, definitely not, but she's mage and that's technically going to increase our magical capacity by 33%. I don't know yet, but uh, it's clear that they are not ordinary people. The demon uses light magic and the art uses dark magic. There is no doubt they are capable of fighting. Game trail of Mount Scandinavia. So why are you going? Where are you going, sorry? We are going to leave this island. Because we can't win with such a weak army. I never thought uh, there was such a big difference in strength. In that case, you shouldn't have stopped them. You should have let them go to the marsh. If they went to the marsh, there is no doubt they would be become uh, an all-you-can-eat fresh meat buffet for the lizardmen. Uh, okay, and? Anyways, we are leaving it uh, as it is. Uh, no, I won't. You mocked their determination, took advantage of their hospitality, smacked that eight-year-old ass cheek like it was nothing, and you are just going to leave? Yogurt, are you saying you won't obey my order? Uh. Yogurt shook his head uh, with tears in his eyes. I can't obey this. I will fight on their side. With that said, Yogurt turned his back and started running back towards the village. Wait, you little bitch. Mizo Soup followed Yogurt. They bluffed us. Just as I thought. Shays says uh, was uh, watching what happened from the shade of the tree. Shade of the, shade of the tree. I wouldn't have bl uh, blamed them if they had run away. Village at Mount Scandinavia. Bitch, you are using the same fucking picture for a singular thing. I can tell it by just the picture now. You don't need to say it every fucking time. One hour later, uh, Miso Soup and Yogurt were uh, back, on, back at the meeting place as they said. We have everybody know what is your plan of attack. Well, my idea is to divide our army into three groups, with uh, one of the groups being a diversion. Hey! Hey, listen, hey! Hey, hey! Hey, listen, 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 hey! Are you sure we can succeed with such a common tactic? It's such a makeshift strategy. Um, guys, do you realize that we didn't have a strategy before, so it's kind of 100% better than what we were trying to do beforehand? Also, is this going to work? It seems to me that it's uh, only a childish strategy, especially because I could come up with that and I am a child. I see. So that's your plan. Question mark, exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. Are you sure? What? I'm amazed. I never thought you had such deep comprehension. For a 12 year old. I mean, the grown ups could probably make something even better, but I'm such a lowly uh, child that I cannot tell from good plan to bad plan. I think this will work. 
If it goes, if it doesn't go well, nothing else will either. Are you kidding? Well, we are technically a kid, so you cannot do anything but kidding. You really think such a childish tactic will work? Says the eight-year-old child. That's rude, eight-year-old child. Well, she doesn't understand the home field advantage and specific abilities of Therian troops yet, so it won't uh, go as well. It, as well, bleh. so it won't go well as it is, but it's okay for the most part. Uh, what? Are you really sure? Even I, an eight-year-old boy, can tell that this is bullshit. Even though it's kind of not dividing your forces when you're trying to go to the through the enemy land is. Is a very sound tactic, to be perfectly honest. Uh, having three groups, though, is, is kind of low. I mean, you need to balance survivability and diversion. Because if you have more uh, uh, groups coming from different directions, then obviously the enemy is going to have uh, more time dealing with each of them, because well, there is more of them. However, if the groups themselves are too small that they are not going to put up uh, too much of a uh, fight, then the enemy is going to go through them very easily and the time you would uh, saved or sorry gained through having multiple groups is diminished because they are going through the groups faster and thus um, you know they have either the same time or even more at their hands now anyway if she's she if she's says so fuck you <laughs> I honestly don't know, but I have no choice uh, but to believe in Shay's judgment because I am too just a 12 year old. I guess girl. Though you could be a trap. Oh, uh, dots. If uh, Shay is going with this, then so am I because uh, we kinda need to stick together. I'm not against his decision, I'm just against everything as the bitch says. And there are no alternatives that I can think of are better, uh, besides uh, begging for our life. <laughs> Actually, why didn't, why didn't we try that? Begging for our life. Begging for, like, uh, acceptance. I mean, even as slaves would survive better than dying in mass. Anyway, Chloe and Reindeer weren't satisfied with his decision, but they agreed with it. Why did you do that? Do what? Why did you support my plan? I thought you would be the first to point out his faults. Even though it's actually a good plan. Uh, yeah, I, I'm just as stupid as you. You could have run away. Exclamation mark. Well, actually fly away, but... Well, we couldn't blame kids who... Kids, fuck you. Kids who come back uh, despite the danger, could we? Your mother is a fucking kid. I'm a hundred years old elf. Which, okay, technically it still means kid in our... Uh, society, but in yours we are fucking ancient, bitch. I probably have outlived your grandfather, especially because they were killed in that fucking war, bitch. I am Mizo Soup, the fucking and devilly and uh, dark magic user. Uh, whatever titles I can spell. Oh, uh, summoner of yogurts and uh, destroyers of ass cheeks. To be honest, I don't want uh, to go to the marsh. But I didn't have uh, any alternative. Uh, well, besides doing actually uh, sound tactics and uh, utilizing guerrilla warfare. If we had gone to the marsh, it's true we would have been eaten, isn't it? Yeah, lizardmen are ferocious and will hunt down before talking. Elves in the forest are often hunted. How? Then I ask you again. Will you fight with us? Even if you leave, I won't hold it against you because you can fly off and we don't have any anti-air. Capability. Uh, I'm going to fight, honestly. I'm so scared, but, but I'm going to fight because it's better than getting raped, I think. But I want but I don't want to live without doing anything. Uh I can back down after what I've said. Because my ego doesn't let me. Okay. Weird, but okay, let's uh, make our strategy even better. I've experienced a series of defeats, so I think this tactic is too reckless. Right. Okay, but there is a chance to win. What? No, there is uh, two great mages outside. Uh, yeah. Yeah, plan. Plan is going to happen. Oh, yeah. Even if there are a lot of humans, my magic will kill them in a flash. Why do you always... Shut up. Ho, 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 ho. 
that night she is missing the to discuss the upcoming battle. I will retake the island. That's a very good plan. You must conquer Port City Panakea. Until you do, you cannot uh, invade other territories. Okay. Fine. At least I tried. So let's see, we could attack with uh, 11 troops against their well, everything else. They have fucking muskets! Shit! Can I do this in the first turn? A good question. Well, what I could do is throw everyone uh, right on to summon the wolves, get them to be killed, and then, uh, first of all, yeah, the front line back line thing is uh, made properly. Strength-wise, we have the uh, guys necessary. Wait, is the fucker who has the cannons here? I think he is. Oh shit, he can kill us in a fucking instant. Oh, we would need to do such uh, horrible tactics. Yeah, we would need to engage their uh, front light troops. And this fucker can summon whatever the fuck he wants. And they also have fucking mages. This is gay. Also, why are we the ones who only have like two places to our name? Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. In that case, uh, let me just summon more bitches. Okay, please uh, recruit. Uh, how many money do we have? 4,000. 4, we have uh, more earnings than upkeep. Wait, what? Oh, bitch makes money. Good. In that case, we are going to need a strong frontal force because they summon. So let's get like three more wild dogs. Sorry, child soldiers. See, they are little kids. They are weak. What about reindeer? She can uh, take what mages. What about you? Earth mages, fuck you. And you, earth mages. Of course. Why wouldn't you? Why would you have uh, unique summons at the fucking start? That would be gay. Anyway, uh, actually, I'm going to make this place a little bit better by recruiting another one. Fuck. And another line of uh, Earth Mages. Yeah, I'm going to have uh, wild dogs in the main. Uh, well, okay. You are going to get released because I need a pack of Earth Mages. Yeah, because of that, I don't have the money for a fucking Earth Mage. Yeah, hey, hey. Anywho. This is our uh, force. 18. Uh, quite um, all around people. Like, we are going to a factor of uh, summons. Hopefully, enough to screen these fuckers uh, of their um, first shots and shit. And yeah. We are going to end the turn right now. And nobody does anything because first turn you cannot attack. Anyway, uh, 
We are going to have a save in the start of the turn, so don't mind. Bye. Attack. So we have a Facton. Okay, not a Facton, but a lot of level 3 guys. So yeah, I think it's going to work out. Sentai, indeed. Toku Sentai, Toku Sentai. Anyway, Earth Spirit summons Wolf of War. What is that? Magic Broom Healing, okay. Uh, uh. Start moving. Oh my god! The third hero is really on a fucking rampage apparently. Hello guys, hello guys, are they yes. Also, the thing about uh, dividing our troops into multiple uh, groups. Yeah, it didn't work. We just fucking Zerg rushed them. <laughs> anyway, Port City. We managed to win. The humans escaped uh, with their ships, besides the one we killed on the waters. I was very ferocious in that battle. Did you hear me asking for their death, their suffering, their blood, their meat in my mouth? I was very, very enthralled in the slaughtering of those humans, yes, yes. I was very ferocious. Pet me. I am a more a beast than a man. Or boy. Some of them failed to escape though, yes they did, and I was there, and we did such horrible things to them, mainly eating them alive, their children alive in front of their faces, yes. I kinda guess uh, we kinda deserve to be hunted down, but still, I gathered the remaining humans over there. Over in, I gathered the remaining humans over in one place, and then, and then, alright, you don't need to finish that fucking sentence, you fucking psychopathic bastard. What's going on here? Everyone who failed to get away are women and children. But, just like us. His feeling was beyond the description when he saw the frightened humans. Uh, hey, do you want to be food? Um, what? I will give you a shift loaded with food and water, namely you. So gather everyone here and go wherever you want. What? There were no humans boarded the ships with a uh, weird disdain in their face. Not disdain, uh, embafflement on their face. Uh, onto the ship, uh, one after each other. You are so naive. Yeah. If you were me, what you, uh, would you do? Duh, eat them. I would enslave them also. And uh, if someone defies my order, I would execute them by eating them. Shays uh, punched the miso soup's head with his fist. Which probably would have made several problems. Like, I don't know if you have watched the uh, MMA fights or boxing matches, but if you actually punch somebody in the fucking head 
really hard first, you might even broke your fingers. And what is definitely going to happen, if you are actually punching with a real force behind it, is uh, concussion, or at least um, brain wiggling. Which is actually, to be perfect, no, it's not uh, the brain sloshing around in there, but uh, the, the expanding, the opposite of expanding and uh, expanding in a wild manner, usually in the same way as the same direction as the force is going. So yeah. What are you doing? Maybe you were kidding, but if you say that again, I will get angry and eat your leg. Ow! Concussion hurts. But I understand now. You are my my oh glorious overlord and I'm going to be your knife-eared elf bitch. Yes, on the broom levitating. Using my farts. Yeah, that's my trick. I use farts to levitate. My bubbles are infinite. And your... Uh, Nostrils are full of it. I hope this will make this island peaceful because I will certainly don't. By the way, where is the yogurt? The port. <coughs> hey, please don't make those noises if they are actually uh, very weird coming from a six year old girl with a fucking teddy bear. What are you doing, yogurt? Uh, I definitely not doing pedophile stuff. Yeah, uh, miso soup. This girl got separated from her parents, and and I felt the urge. I mean, sorry. She said she wanted to search for them on the ship, and they when they left, and uh, then they left her behind. In my care. Yeah, this is definitely natural. Nothing bad is happening after this. Yes. Ah, they decided it was too troublesome. I mean, I would do the same because I'm a bitch. They were worried for their own uh, child and wouldn't uh, stop uh, for it. They were worried for their own children and wouldn't stop for a child they didn't know. Oh, sorry, the other people instead of uh, their parents, okay. Yes, yeah, so I will search with her. What? Is this a scam? Are you going to do horrible stuff to the children when my eyes are not laid upon you? Don't be silly. My eyes are always upon you. I actually cast a fucking hex on your ass. Silly? That's terrible. Miso Soup uh, grabs the yogurt's clothes and separated him from the girl. Look here, it's sure uh, that uh, her parents will work in the battle if she got separated from them. We don't know that yet. I mean, seriously. There were kind of a lot of survivors. <laughs> Wait, actually, there wasn't. Haha. <laughs> if the parents who tried to save themselves uh, left the girl behind are alive, they are good for nothing parents. You may be right, yeah. Wait, why are you telling me this? Weren't you trying to stop me from doing horrible stuff to these children's uh, private places? Uh, yeah, I'm kind of sure about it. Oh. Uh, also, might we have killed her parents? I mean, we were in the battle and at least she probably had a father who might have served in the mil uh, militia. That we let uh, be devoured by that weird eight year old with a certainly an uh, natural bird lost. Exclamation mark. That's why. Well, hmm. Miss also crossed her arms uh, with a worried expression and then. My mommy is gone? She's not going to slap me in the ass anymore? Am I going to have an actual fucking childhood with good memories and shit? What? No, I'm definitely going to be worse on her, but still. Oh, uh, so yeah, um, no, we don't know that. Mommy! I'd rather have someone I know doing bad things to me than someone that I don't. You are so, you are too loud. They are actually going to hear you and separate you from us. Don't cry, don't cry. Or, well, actually, cry, cry on me. You're actually a uh, waist height. <laughs> Yogurt hugged the girl in a hurry and stroked her head very gently and uh, furiously as well. As a matter of fact. I know. Miso Soup clapped her hands once. Did you come up with a good idea? Uh, no. Let's leave her to Shays. What? You always leave it to others. <laughs> Why do you have a picture of that bastard in your fucking uh, office? Anyway, city office, city office. I mean, oh, it's called actually uh, town center. 
no, not that. Well, technically the town center, but there is an office in the town center. The not ministry. How it's called? My English is failing me. Fuck. Anyway, uh, city uh, office of port city. <laughs> she was left behind. What are you going to do? Well, I'm definitely not going to do weird as uh, horny shit to her because I'm actually into older, like 40 years old. <laughs> also, well, I don't care if we take her in and race her, but uh, when she grows up, she will regard me as an enemy because of what happened. I think. I mean, we possibly kind of killed her father. Like, she kind of looks like the guy uh, Claw eats alive, starting with the face. So yeah, if. That uh, rumor is going to go around and indefinitely weird. I mean, the fuck is up with Claw? He's fucking psychotic. We should probably put him on a leash and give him dog tags and start calling him something like uh, Brown or Brown. Barno. <laughs> yeah, we call our fucking dogs Barno, I just realized. Or Spotty or something like that. Yeah, we should definitely dehumanize him. Or, sorry, de uh, civilized. Uh, Species sizes. Species sizes. But we cannot dehumanize him because he's not human, he's therianthrope. De therianthrope mice him? Why do you have so fucking lengthy names for things? Just call yourself furries. Like, actually, in the universe it wouldn't be a problem. Like, you don't have actual furries, you know, people who wear skin suits or um, skin like suits to do yiffy. You have actual fucking people with furs on them growing as a natural part of their body. So why the fuck you are not just called them furries in your universe? Why therianthropes? Also, I think that's uh, regarding their wolf like thing or something. No, that would be lycanthrope. What is therian then? Anyway, so. Yeah, that. Isn't it a question of how we raise her? Yeah, problem is. Rumors are going to go around, and if she learns that her father was eaten by one of our comrades, who is also fucking was eight when it happened, it's going to be problematic. I mean, I'm 12 years old, you are 12 years old. How the fuck you don't you? How the fuck you don't see this problem? Anyway, I don't want to execute a kid. Neither her or Kla, because you know, we are actually related. So we'll take care of her for now. But if she shows the any signs of, uh, well, you know, wanting to have revenge on Claw, we probably have to put either of them down, which is going to be very problematic because you know that is going to reduce our fighting strength to fifty percent or something. Anyway, for the time being, all I managed to learn is that her name is Layla Herzog. <laughs> Princess Layla, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but it just rolls off the thug! If you watched Star Wars in the back in the day when it came out... Well, not back in the day when it came out because I was non-existent then, but... Soon afterwards, like, my childhood was... Uh, Holy shit, this is Star Wars, it's kinda cool. Afterwards I learned about 40k and learned that uh, Star Wars is not that cool. <laughs> Anyways, because of that, when I hear or say Lilo, I immediately think... Uh, Herzog, the princess, after it, because I just cannot uh, think that name as otherwise than describing that character. <laughs> so anyway, it's hopeless to search for her parents with only her name, and also it's kind of hopeless to search for her father, because I kind of think Claw eat her, eat him. Like, she is of striking resemblance of that man. We can't stop searching for her parents, uh, maybe they uh, are looking for Layla even now. I don't think so. If they had loved her, they wouldn't have abandoned her. You know, it's not a actual thing that you are running for your life in the port, you are tugging your children because, I don't know, you are uh, having to hold uh, your everything in the other hand and that's kind of making you uh, unavailable to uh, hold her instead. And uh, some asshole bumped into you, you released because, you know, reflex. Or she just slipped out because your hands were sweaty or something. 
uh, and then in the cavalcade of people going uh, in a singular direction but in different paths, uh, you can get separated from them very easily. You are kidding me. Click. Audible click. The door opens and Cloud rushes into the room. Oh my gosh, Shays, what should we do? I eat her uh, father. What's the matter? I've been examining the new uh, Scandinavia development project with my mom. And? Someone behind the scenes gave instructions and invested money into this. Like, you know, probably a faction or something. So this project has a mastermind. Yeah, it... If it wouldn't, you wouldn't have a fucking city popping up. You would have uh, random colonies popping up first, and then a city, maybe. Which takes decades, if not uh, centuries. Just saying. The mastermind is a deputy prime minister. How do you have prime ministers in a fucking empire? How? Minister is a thing in democracies, I think. Magisters were a thing. But but still, you don't have a fucking prime minister, I think. I'm not actually well versed in this, but you know, I, I kinda am. Uh, medieval and antique uh, uh, political bullshit is actually really interesting if you dig down to it. But I think ministers are a modern thing, or at least uh, a uh, democracy thing. Prime ministers are definitely a uh, democracy thing. Sorry, not a democracy thing, a modern thing, but... Prime Ministers in Medieval uh, Empire, no, Magisters maybe, also he kinda looks like the Pope, so maybe you could have gone with that. Anyway, and it appears to be strengthening its military to conquer the continent. In other words, instead of uh, disorganized human coming again, we could be invaded by the Imperial Army very far, very far away from us who actually need to go through the fucking elves and the lizard folk. So if we could have actually managed to make an alliance with the lizard folk, they would have already fought the Reynald Empire and our possibly suicide would be in vain if we didn't actually just zerger that fucking city like we did. Anyways, the Empire is surrounded by enemies, so I don't know if they can even get here. Good point, 8-year-old soldier. We can't expect them to fall uh, to ruin on their own, though. Like, they're definitely going to uh, start expanding in our direction, even if it's going to take them a lot of uh, time. So we need to prepare, at least. We will have to get stronger. But how? 100 push-ups, sit-ups, and 10 kilometers of uh, running. Also, you might want to uh, recruit more soldiers. Also, easy. Expand your territory and enhance your nation's strength. Okay, but how do you do the en enhance the nation's strength? All uh, the other countries are doing it, right? The invasion thing. You can defend your own uh, country if you hesitate to attack other countries. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of true. I mean, isolationism uh, didn't work out for any nation at all. Look at the Japanese, for example. Oh, we are going to live in isolation for 200, 300 years? We are not going to let Europeans into our country. We are going to just limit them into a single city and we are going to live in peace and semi-harmony, even though we have a lot of, infi a lot of infighting afterwards. Uh, within our... Uh, a little island and the only uh, external uh, foreign policies and shit we are going to do is going to be with the Chinese. Afterwards, uh, which the Americans, who were well, kind of assholes, just as like uh, back then, just as like today, decided to fucking invade them. You know, get in there with a the fucking uh, armada, with their goddamn uh, ironclads, who can just, you know, Ignore whatever the fuck the Japanese can throw at them and said, You are ours now. 
that's it. And they made uh, Japan kind of a puppet state. And uh, took uh, mo the most uh, favorable trade deals with them. Basically exploiting the country. So yeah, isolation is, is not going to work out. I just say that. Especially if uh, they are kind of uh, island nation just like Japan. So yeah, this is a very good analog. Only a race who lives in the sticks uh, thinks they can defend their territory with it inv invading ours. You are right, we need buffer countries. There is no way we can hesitate. Let's uh, take the countries uh, the Reynald Empire wants before they do. And then we are going to have their string against the Reynald Empire instead of the other way around. Yeah, that kind of sounds right. If the Empire is really pulling the strings behind all this, I want to crush it, crush it with my own balls. You have a weird way of saying things, Shays. I guess that's why you have that name. Also, you are very uh, ambitious. By the way, what are you going to do? We find uh, ruined their plan to build a new Scandinavia. Now our request is complete. Well, you will need these genius strategies from now on, won't you? I'll give you the favor of helping you for a while longer. If you talk like that, I'm going to beat your uh, left nipple. We don't want your help. Yeah, we kinda need the st genius strategies. Please continue to take care of us. Which is cold word for I need your fucking magic prowess, bitch. And uh, if you are going to go away, we are going to have uh, the other magic prowess, bitch, at your throat. And also a lot of very angry child soldiers tearing you apart. Like, look at Chloe. She's uh, sorry. He is fucking psychotic. He is ready to eat your everything, starting with the face, whilst you are still alive and screaming for it to stop. And we are not going to stop him because we are afraid of him now. Mmm, it's my pleasure. Uh, uh, sorry, not the getting devoured thing, the... The... Yeah, okay, sorry, I'm into war. Let's put that on the table. Also, I'm going to lead you now. Okay, bye! Why did you say that, Shades? What, that you are a psychotic asshole who eats people's faces? Maybe you shouldn't eat that uh, malicious man's face? And the rest of his body, but he was still alive. And now we have her fucking daughter on our fucking hands. Also, she has nowhere to go and uh, can't be honest with her how she feels. She must be a runaway girl. Just like us. Well, okay, we are not a runaway, we were nomad before, but details. Well, I can imagine her feelings. Okay, I can't, I'm a psychotic bastard, but I can't accept her attitude. Because it makes me angry and want to eat her face. I want you to give her some time. We need uh, an advisor. Advisor, not advisor. You fucker. Who knows the world outside of our uh, lands. Dots. If you say so, says. Or says. Leon transferred its home ground to Port City Punk here. Sorry. Paw. Anyway, now we have uh, 12... No, we suffered casualties. We also go up like so, and we are going to have Doing this bullshit. There we go. And you can go right there. Because as much as I love um, Earth Mages, first they are kinda expensive. Uh, second, um, five, that means we have uh, seven of these guys. 
glorious. So as much as I love Earth Mages, they have this problem of well, being uh, expensive and also we need a factor of size. Show anyway. What I'm also going to do is uh, expand to these territories. They are not really uh, strong, so I think I could uh... Uh, first of all let's buy this up. I need to recruit another mesh to have these guys uh, fully kick it out. Forward, I will need to buy enough guys here to fit out uh, all of it. Uh, thank you. So I don't need this much people to take uh, that peninsula. I want to take that uh, channel uh, so that the cactus people are not going to um, be easily taking it from us. Yeah, they will only have, uh, only have, actually they will have more than enough uh, troops to get here. Because that's 12 and that's fucking 16, so they can indeed mount a fucking attack on there. What they can't do is actually support them, because uh, that is the only place they can send support, so we can't do to with them, basically. Also, a very good tactic with uh, Lion is to summon your summons and then run the fuck away. <laughs> because the summons are going to take care of the enemy uh, trying to attack you, you know, having an actual fucking rear guard when you are retreating. So they are going to kill them instead of us. Isn't that nice? Now, as Lion, I don't know who we should uh, start uh, being buddies with. One would think that. Uh, Holy shit, they only start with a single province? Oh my god, Makan is shit. They are very shit. Uh, anyways. Also, Gothmorg. What's your thing? You have Spinning Blade. <laughs> oh. Just realized. Wait, if you're level 10, why do you have so low level guys? Also, this is actually a very good thing that this guy gave a boost to their uh, fighters because otherwise they don't have a fucking backline. Okay, why do you have a sword with the bite attack? Oh, yeah, uh, diplomacy. We need to do diplomacy. Akatra starts out with a single uh, province as well. Why is it musket that has three? It significantly increases their income, just saying. Also gag, apparently. And they can easily take a very high level fortress afterwards, which is... Gag has it so easy! I say that whilst I don't know what their troops are capable of, but if they are kind of alright. General. Oh, that's a fucking miserable attack and def uh, defense score. Wow, well, that is a very high attack and defense score. Uh, for low level things, I mean. Okay, they are not uh, very high, but... Laborer. Not that big of a difference. And laborers are actually good. Why well, the Empire fucking starts with three, even though they have... Look at it. Look at it. They have so many troops. They're definitely uh, recruiting a lot, but still... This is easy peasy. Now this is going to be a little bit hard because... You know, 
And actually, no, this is going to be easy as well. Even our low level charge soldiers have more health than that, so. Nah, this is good. The question is, how should I do it? I think this squad is more than enough to defeat these guys. So I can send them, but uh, this squad can attack the peninsula. And afterwards, maybe even... Uh, yeah, afterwards we are going to have uh, reinforcements here and attack either of these provinces. Or maybe even both. Yeah, I'm definitely going to take both. I need to start expanding rapidly. So yeah. This is gonna be the plan. Oh shit, I should have tried to recruit. Yeah, I don't have any recruits. Figures. Let's end the turn. You know what? Let's watch this battle. Uh, ultra speed, and let's see what they can do. Uh, these are technically bubble mages as well. And I can't see what the Sonic is Okay, they have high speed, as in attack speed, and high movement on swampy terrain. But nothing much else. They're kind of shit. <laughs> I say that we are there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, got it. I'm watching that. If Apocrypha is going to get uh, deleted from the map immediately, that's going to be like to behold. Could you have your uh, stone mages a little bit backwards so they are not going to be able it's not a bad strategy, by the way. These guys are expanding mana to do their stuff. And uh, if they are going to expand it on fucking uh, uh, summons, rocks, then uh, they are not going to shoot at them after they broke down the gate. So it's not a bad idea to do what they are doing. But they should also do it how the fucking is a little bit behind the change. やるじゃん。このまま切り込むぞ。敵軍の回収軍はすでにできている。これが戦という奴か。どこまでやるんだ。この野郎。覚えてろよ。うわ。全然ミスった。よく人いっても現役かけ。やわな体は引き折らん。
No, no, they, they are not going now. They couldn't uh, use the Mabel's mana level enough to not tap all the great threat. Though they still seem to be able to uh, hold their ground, but I think, yeah, either the Rhino Empire is going to run. Okay, that is actually very good. They started to uh, stupidly start attacking those rocks. So there is a lot of uh, enemy mages that are not uh, currently shooting at them. Uh, why aren't you using your thing? Like, this fucker could have deleted them. で、勝てますよね。よし。稼ぐぜ。嵐の前の静けさとか。どうでもすげえ来てきよ。いつものように何事も早く的確に動けばいい。Glorious. Okay, so everybody expanded uh... In this turn, and uh, one of the factions actually got removed. In turn fucking two. I mean, it's definitely within their capabilities, and I myself would have done the same. I mean, look at this 500 value, a uh, fuck ton of defense, a lot of squads. Just this itself uh, could uh, easily take over all of these. You leave whatever 14 troops you want uh, the um, the expansion to be conducted with, and that's it. I mean, sure, they have a uh, lot of uh, dwarves and shit, but that's not really a problem. Mainly because dwarves are fucking slow. If you use your goddamn... Uh, Range units at this level, they can get eaten. Okay. The range attack is fucking 100 distance. Whatever else you are going to shoot them at with is uh, going to have a easier time. Though they are in mountains, the range, so yeah. Actually, that might not be the case. You definitely need somebody to take the brunt of the force. But you can put a lot of DPS behind them still. Anyway, less talking about uh, the random neighbors, we have and more uh, fighting against these guys. Glorious. Now, do your summons, please. The good thing about summons is that they are going to do just what the... Uh... Is that a long range attack? I don't know. We are going to see. Uh, kinda. Anyway, ultra fast auto you can do this.
Alpha first from Kazurki, not gonna lie about that. Yeah, a few uh, child soldiers have found their uh, unfortunate demise on these parts. But still, anyway, who can be recruited? None of these fools. Very well. Now, I don't know if I want to encroach on uh, the sand people currently. I'd rather go through Makan first. As stupid as it sounds, I mean... Ah! Ah! Ow! <laughs> yeah, getting through these fuckers are going to be a little bit problematic. They ha even have range resistance, fuck you! It but alas, they are uh, low in numbers. Though this fucker's uh, skill would uh, put me in a very, very unfortunate position. I think we could... Uh, well, you know... Rush for the fortress. Anyway, another territory is going to be taken by us. And these guys are going to be the charge. Now we have a uh, frog. Summon wind thing. Wait, you are the same person, I guess. Are you going to do the summoning? Anyway, go out to uh, summon that new stack. Summon that. Ikuzo! Teki no hangeki ni sonai tsu tsuigeki. Nigeru hei wo ou shiyou wa nai zo. Kaoi wa shinakute ii. Engo de chiryou wo balance yoku. Okay, uh, why are these guys not moving? Oh, maybe because his uh, skill is not actually uh, proper. Are we going to win with only our summon? See, you are a fucking psycho bitch. Holy event, of course. City office of a poor city. <laughs> Shays moved Lions headquarters from the village at Mount Scandinavia to the city office in poor city. <laughs> They decided to invade other countries in the continent plagued by the war. They needed ships to sail across the seas, so the port city became their stronghold. The human culture left behind in the port city was something which uh, had to be learned. It was inevitable the ba base would uh, move to, from Mount Scandia to port city. Path. This sentence here is unimportant. But we still haven't resolved our shortage of manpower. I think we did. You guys are the easiest to recruit guys. Like, seriously. Cheapest fucking manpower in the game. Anyway. We had a small number of people to begin with, and most of us were killed or run away because uh, of the new Scandinavia development project. Dots. Dots. Shays, uh, why don't you ask those who aren't uh, already in Lion to participate in the war? It was uh, as if a uh, reindeer had read uh, Shay's mind. Did you fucking read my mind? Bitch, have you intrused into my will? No. If you do that, it's uh, the same as uh, forced. You're right. Click. A Therion troop walked into the room. Hello, I'm sorry to bother you. Are you busy, Shay's? Oh, Aunt Collie, yes, I'm available. 
for whatever you need. Or what? Has Clubin be has Clubin helpful? Her voice uh, was gentle and calm. Uh, yeah, about your son. He's a psychotic bastard who has uh, enjoyed eating the face of, of uh, still living people while they are screaming for their uh, mercy. I think there is something wrong with him. Also, he has been always helpful. I really trust him as far as he's really far away from me and I don't have to actually see that damage he does to the enemy. Could you do me a favor? A favor? She may want to take law out of my army. It is not sure of a mother who lost her son, to be perfectly honest, considering the close violent tendencies, I might just do that. Could you add me to your army? Bitch, what? We adults can't let the children fight alone, so I want to fight alongside them. But, but you are supposed to be smart and shit, what are you doing? I can use magic too. And, uh, oh yeah, that actually makes sense. Exclamation mark! Police said nothing more, as if she could raise his mind regarding the sort of shortage of manpower. Dot. Eight. You can count on Claw and me. Especially on me, because Claw is kind of... Uh, I know about him. I know everything about him. I kind of send him to your army, so he is going to relieve his violent tendencies on the enemy instead of me. I'm kind of, you know, stressed about it, but... But I also have those tendencies as well, I kind of inherited it from me, so... I'm going to use Earth Magic to crush people's balls, let's just leave it that. Yeah... Thank you for your time. Audible steps, clicks. Collie left the room. The room was silent for a while. That was good, wasn't it? I wonder if Claw will agree with that. Okay, I actually don't wonder, I think he's going to be very... Uh, happy about her mother serving in the fucking same army as him, so they can be the psychopathic family they always wanted to be, but still, it might actually be something else because, well, they are mentally deranged. They think different than us. Yeah. Close room. The child soldiers of Lion. <laughs> See, it's not me making this shit up. <laughs> <laughs> cleaned out the rooms uh, in the city office and carried in uh, many beds uh, from private houses to sleep on. Claw was sharing the room with uh, Yogurt. Wow, Yogurt, you are so big and you are also very good at sewing. Um, thank you. Yes, I'm rather good at clearing, washing, cooking, sewing and doing various, various services. Yes. I'm not manly. Dots. Hey, do you want to mend my clothes? They are kinda ripped. Because the people who wanted me to not eat them resisted. Okay. Claw! I don't remember raising a child who gets others to do his work. Dots. Oh, Claw's mom. Hi. Are you a psychopath too? The sweets you gave me were also delicious. And by sweets I mean you're nuts. Yogurt, you are a good boy, and you are going to be rewarded later. You do your own work properly. Oh really? Reward you say? Uh... She's your mom, right? I know that. Why are you here? Because I told Shays I want to fight too. Alongside you, to keep you in check, you psychopathic bastard of children of mine. We are going to do this together. This bloody business of ours. And you are going to be a nice little boy. Somebody that can I can be proud of. Somebody with just a little bit of psychopathic tendencies. You hear me? You hear me, Clo? Belligerent the second? <coughs> Mom? Why? Why do you ask? Isn't your concern a shortage of manpower? Yeah, but you're a woman, you cannot contribute to manpower. I can fight too. I mean, I literally told you how to claw somebody's faces off. Everything you know is from me. And I'm actually very sad that you couldn't learn my earth magic, bitch. Also, I can't uh, sleep in safe place while my child fights and I don't. You're kinda hogging all the attention, bitch. Dots. 
You can't just decide that. That, I, I think. I mean, what would that say? I don't want to lose my mom too. I feel the same. I don't want to lose me too. Your mother doesn't want to use uh, you either. Because that would be a kind of shame. As in, I would be shamed by other people and I don't want to... Uh, have that, yes. Collie hugged the claw while he looked down deep in thought. Don't do that. Don't live in shame. Live in peace, bitch. It's embarrassing. I'm jello. Collie has joined your horse. Very shido. Right here and look at that. Uh, You can recruit fucking wild dogs, earth mages, and higher level mages. The fuck? I mean, I don't have the money for it. But still, the fuck? Anyway, we didn't lose anyone in that uh, attack, so I'm kinda proud. Which also means... I can reinforce these guys. Another one, because I can afford to bitch. Anyways, I would love to have uh, a proper army right here. Though what is uh, more probable to be happening next turn is uh, me. Actually, you don't need reinforcements. And you, Koli, uh, well, I don't have the thousands of money to recruit higher level troops this early game, but at least I can take the uh, lower level ones. Also, bitch can summon fucking uh, golems. And speed up to him. Okay. I mean, for the things you are going to summon, that's really important. And Crystal Guard, uh, I can't read that. That's in Moon Runes. I guess it summoned Crystals and Crystal Arrow, which is actually another type of thing. She's good. She's also very high level, so... Uh, what is definitely going to happen... ...is uh, me switching out some troops. So I will don't need uh actually can I have the higher level ones in front? So I'm going to send back the guys that are not really that important. Okay, so we need level nine. Actually, you are going to be the front in that case. And I want level 8 after you. Uh, there are still level 8 somewhere. Yes, that's one, actually, two. There is a lot of you guys. No, that's not what I want to do. This is what I want to do. Sorry for taking your time like this, but I actually need the higher level ones up first. Otherwise we are going to have problems, like, you know, dying. Okay, seven, seven. Seven, 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 six, and that's it. We can send you back here. I can take you, send you back. 
Take you. Send you back. And take you. Also, I could have done the same thing with these guys as well. Oops. Anyways, uh. Fug. So, highest levels. I think it's seven. After that, it's six. Shut up. I mean, I don't know why it's actually a thing in the game that I cannot uh, exchange people from different uh, countries. Because I can do it like this, but it just takes an extra click. Uh, any more level sixes? Yes, there you are. After that, I would like to have a level 6 in front. Do we have any more? Yes, we do. Afterwards, level 5 And the level 4 in that case, because we don't have any more level 5. Also level... Actually... How are we here? We have a level 7s, level 6s... Uh, do we have level 5s? No, it seems uh, the lowest level is 6, in which case we can leave these guys here. Glorious. Well, this one is a bit front heavy, but I don't care. We have quite a deal talking force here, so wherever we go, we could uh, take that, which is going to be this place, because it has the higher resistance. Whereas this place is going to be taken by these guys. I guess I could reinforce. I mean, I have the money. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's have an extra... Uh, three of these. More of these. There. And we still have a factor of money. Should we buy more uh, fire dogs? I mean, after we take these two, we can attack um, this place, this place, and technically the fortress if we really want. I don't want to take the desert from them, especially because it's a uh, low value. And it will definitely piss off the uh, desert people. So what I want to do... Taking the planes. 
and possibly leave the elves uh, alone because in their forests they are kinda bad to do it. I'd rather have the empire waste resources on them. Though I guess now that the dwarves are out, they are just going to walk over their places and take whatever the fuck they want. I mean, look at this. Yeah, a lot of uh, stone mages and shit, but not much else. Anyway, nobody can attack me, so I'm going to end the turn now. Actually, do I want to do... Uh, Diplomacy. What diplomacy could I do? I could uh, increase amity between cactus. Maybe. Cactus, lion, wombo, combo. They are kinda in a rock and a hard place because they are either going to fight me, which is, well, it wouldn't be nice. Or they could uh, attack Kunitz. Yeah, not going to happen. Or start uh, encroaching on Musket, which is also a very bad uh, idea for them. So I think I want to have uh, good relations with Cactus. Rest of the money I'm going to save up because uh, okay, actually, nah, nah. I don't know how uh, leveling up works, but if I can just fucking fill my shit, with it, I'd rather do that instead. So yeah, I'm going to have a fucking first first. Post now. If you there you go. And since you are actually more useful here in case you get attacked, you are going to be there. Hope you're gonna like it. Oh wait, I could actually attack fucking uh, that fortress. If they don't, not going to have uh, people here, and they are going to attack uh, basically anywhere, if they don't go back to their shit, I can take their fucking fortress. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. Okay, that's going to be the next episode though, because um, we are at two hours, and I'm not going to do those long fucking uh, streams anymore. It fucks up my schedule. Anyway, thank you for watching, I was Zolanius, and I'm hoping to see you back in Maidan with uh, more Lost Technology, Child Soldiers Edition. Bye!